This weekend, I had a chance to check out the Quantum Summit in Cape Canaveral. I specifically went to see Patrick Riley speak, and he did not disappoint. If you're not familiar with Patrick Riley yet, he has a pretty amazing story. He was actually a homeless youth from age 12 to 17. He then joined the military, and while on duty, he had an accident where he got hit in the head, which gave him acquired savant syndrome. Basically, he became a genius overnight. Since that happened, Patrick went on to work in military psyops and then founded Adam Industries, minting an ecosystem of coins on the XRP ledger that could revolutionize personal finance, space mining, and many other things. But this weekend, Patrick revealed and made open source a series of technologies that he has invented which could fundamentally reshape the trajectory of humanity by making us a non-temporal species. Patrick revealed four inventions that when combined would produce what he calls a Thoth rocket. Thoth stands for the history of temporal humanity. The first technology is a free energy device that uses electromagnetism, which he calls the overunity generator. The second is an ionic drive circuit, which if I understand correctly, creates thrust through electric propulsion. The third invention is a quantum helisphere that would rely on a cell line taken from Henrietta Lacks in the 1950s, known in the scientific community as the Gila line. Because this cell line's lifespan and clone-like reproduction, they are an ideal candidate for developing a biologically based quantum computer. The final invention is a faster than light device, which is basically a UV light subwoofer that removes the resistance of the space in front of it. When these inventions are combined together into a Thoth rocket, it would create a device that can travel faster than the speed of light while also enabling instantaneous communication back to earth. By traveling faster than the speed of light, it can record the light of the earth from the past and create a 4D map of the entire history of earth and all of humanity, while also allowing for the quantum entanglement of a mind from the present day to one in the past. Patrick decided to release all of these inventions to the public on the blockchain instead of trying to patent them and develop them himself because he thought it was the most plausible way of protecting the technology and ensuring that it gets built instead of trying to keep the design secret, in which case he would probably meet some gentlemen in black suits at some point he would take his designs and see to it that he was never heard from again. Let's watch a short clip where Patrick explains some of the implications of implementing this technology. As we're able to observe this, we can travel potentially tens, hundreds, thousands of years, light years away and receive the light as it had hit the earth. And we can send it instantaneously through that quantum communication here to the earth. And we'd be able to create something like a four dimensional Google earth. So you would pull up this interface, this four dimensional Google earth, and you would look at the location you want to look at and you would be able to rewind time and view the actual events as they happened encoded onto the XRP ledger by that quantum helisphere. And now we can watch the fall of Atlantis. We can watch Jesus walk the earth. We can watch the pyramids be built. We can watch the magic bullet that killed Kennedy and find out where that magic came from. We can watch what the dinosaurs might have actually looked like, probably not that. And we can watch the beginning of the Earth and see how it actually formed. Next slide. More importantly, we can find every missing child. Yeah. We can also solve all the unserved murders. We can say that future, the future proves the past right? And uh, we can stop the corruption. This technology is obviously extremely disruptive to the powers that be, 
The current global power structure relies on secrecy and blackmail in order to maintain power. But this technology, while godlike in many ways, will allow us to live in a world where we can actually have justice and a level playing field where every human can thrive and have the opportunity to reach their full potential. Patrick is calling on regular people across the globe to get engaged in helping to build this technology and bring it to fruition. So take a look at his designs, which I will link to in this post, and get involved. Thinking about the implications of this technology can be mind-bending, and it raises a lot of questions about religion, spirituality, and what it means to be human. When I think about this tech, I am reminded of a quote I just recently read by St. Augustine, who said, God provides the wind, man must raise the sail. Could it be that the Thoth rocket has been our destiny all along? Only time will tell, but with the current state of affairs with humanity, our safest bet may be to come together and start building these Thoth rockets as quickly as possible.